It's time for some Media Monday stories right now. Sony, Warner Brothers, and Disney are in talks with the largest cable TV companies about $30 movie tickets. Yes, 30 bucks. That is what you would have to pay to watch a new release at home shortly after it runs in theaters. The studios are in discussions with In Demand, a partnership of Cox, Comcast, and Time Warner Cable. Disney is also talking about streaming new releases on web-connected devices like Microsoft's Xbox and Sony's PlayStation. Stay, say what you want about greed, it still sells tickets. Wall Street Money Never Sleeps opened at number one this weekend in the United States and North America, in fact. The sequel generated $19 million in sales for 20th Century Fox. It is the studio's first number one film at the box office since Avatar opened last December. And pressure on Apple is growing from publishers who want to sell subscriptions on the iPad. The New Yorker makes its debut today on the iPad, according to the Wall Street Journal. Executives at publisher Condé Nast told the paper that the true value of selling the New Yorker, which is a weekly on the iPad, cannot be realized until people are able to purchase subscriptions. The stumbling block Apple and publishers simply can't agree on access to personal information about people who buy apps.